Musique contemporaine à Auch, huit jours qui commencent dès ce soir, huit jours pour inaugurer l'installation dans une aile du château de Saint-Cric de la boîte à musique. La boîte à musique, c'est un studio qui allie musique contemporaine et lutterie informatique et qui vient de créer le plus savant et le plus magique des instruments. Je vous propose de le découvrir. Ce détecteur n'est pas un instrument. Cet homme n'est pas un chef d'orchestre. Cet oscilloscope n'est pas une partition. Mais cet espace est un espace sonore. Espace sonore, espace gestuel aussi, espace issu de longues recherches en informatique, espace issu d'une idée. C'est de faire la recherche au départ, mais que cette recherche aboutisse toujours à un résultat musical. C'est-à-dire une recherche qui ne soit pas pure et simple, mais qui soit dans l'axe d'une création musicale. Chaque geste, chaque déplacement est ici localisé par un senseur ultrasonique, système complexe d'ondes émises et renvoyées par un obstacle. Chaque geste, chaque déplacement agit ici sur les sons, amplifie les notes, les modules, bouscule ou ralentit les rythmes. Donc je peux contrôler la longueur des sons, deux voix à la fois. Et avec des sons courts, par exemple, je contrôle les deux sons en hauteur. Périmètre féerique où les plus néophytes des passagers deviennent musiciens. Euh, le terme est un peu ambigu en fait, et, euh, en, ils sont musiciens malgré eux dans la mesure où ils n'ont pas besoin d'être titularisés de, comme musiciens, mais en même temps ils seront toujours dans la situation où ils joueront une œuvre qui a été créée par quelqu'un d'autre à l'avance. C'est-à-dire qu'ils seront plus qu'interprètes, mais ils ne seront pas compositeurs eux-mêmes. L'œuvre est en effet modulable, mais l'œuvre existe. Le compositeur Rolf Gellar en a écrit quatre pour cette structure. Quatre œuvres créées sur un synthétiseur numérique, lui-même relié à un ordinateur. Ordinateur qui va donc obéir à tous les gestes, ordinateur qui va donc obéir à toutes les fantaisies. Et c'est là que ce monde de chiffres et de matières grises, cette structure, fruit de recherche et de calculs savants, va devenir le plus immatériel des instruments, la plus magique des musiques, celle de l'air et du mouvement. Ça fait au moins trois ans que je travaille avec des moyens de ce genre-là, avant avec des cellules photoélectriques, et pour moi ça reste totalement magique, même si je sais exactement à la microseconde près ce qui se passe dans l'ordinateur. Et créé pour être installé au musée de la Villette dès son ouverture en 1986, cette structure est actuellement installée à Beaubourg, elle le sera en plein air dans la cour du château de Saint-Cric dimanche prochain. crawling along a magic carpet and of course I'm doing an item on contemporary dance uh, why, why are we doing this Larry? <laughs> well Neil we're lying on this carpet because if we raise our heads or any part of our body above a certain height we break a sonic sound beam creating instant music and who's this? this is Yolanda Snaith hello oh. Yolanda hello <laughs> and uh, why are you here? what, what do you do? Well, We're, we're engaged to uh, make this thing work for a thing called a public at the Place Theatre. Yeah. You're going to be dancing, We're going to be dancing, yeah. Dancing yeah. to your own music? Yeah, like this, you see. Like, blah, 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 blah. See, this is... What happens, Yolanda? <laughs> Explain. <laughs> well, um... Explain, Yolanda. Explain. Well, well, when we move in uh, certain areas of the space, it triggers off certain sounds. Um, if we keep moving continuously, the sound becomes continuous. Um, I see. Larry? <laughs> come here, come here, come here. Down again. Down, quick. I think head down. I think right. they heard us. Right. It's all right now. Okay. So you're actually going to be dancing to music you're creating? That is the problem, yes. 
Okay, well, do your worst then. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> I'll be off then. timekeeping set by musicians. Inventor Rolf's computerized sound space now allows the dancer to call the tune. And to prove it, the 44-year-old composer stepped into the limelight to show off his system to 20 mums and toddlers in Islington. As part of a musical festival, sound space is being tested by youngsters, including tiny tots like these. It was musical anarchy today, although Rolf appeared delighted with the results. Rolf chooses a tune on his computer, dancing close to one of the sensors either speeds it up, slows it down, or makes it repeat the last few seconds. I think the reaction is fantastic. Everyone loves it uh, because it's so immediate and you have such direct control over the sounds without even trying and without having a problem of, of uh, thinking about how am I going to deal with this instrument. You just step in and play. What would Strauss think of it? I think he would love it. It's, it's very much in the, in the nature of his music, which is happiness with music. According to Rolf, space sound allows anyone to become a conductor, although it doesn't guarantee you'll always summon up sounds like Andre Previn. Rolf is now working on making his senses respond to the nod of the head, ideal for the handicapped. Simon Neve in Islington for Thames News. instrument that one plays by moving around in an empty space. It consists of basically three elements, a computer, an ultrasonic ranging system and synthesizers. The ultrasonic ranging system of which this is one of the sensors looks into the space and measures the distance of anybody that's within the space by walking up and down in the range of this ranging unit, you are actually triggering the sounds just the same way as you would be if you move your fingers across the keyboard of an instrument. Go in, right, to that corner over there, and you stop a bit, and you go through the middle, okay, go through the middle, and you stop once more where that cross is. Do you see this little cross here?
first picture, you don't get a chance to see them, um, you know, as a removed from it. And seeing all their personalities and how they reacted to it was, was fascinating for me. But a lot of them came out of themselves. The shining example there was, was Jonathan, who was the, the, the young lad who was, who was doing this movie. He's a child who has, who has tremendous expressive language problems, um, quite, quite frustrating for him. He, he has, he's very hard to understand. He has speech therapy. His language inside is quite quite sophisticated. I mean, not... He had quite a lot to say about it, yeah. didn't he, afterwards? But he gets very frustrated because he, he can't say the words properly, the letters don't come out right, people have difficulty understanding him. But in here, he just suddenly blossomed, and he, he was the one person there who was actually listening to what messages he was receiving musically, and was moving to them. Did you enjoy the experience? Did the children get a lot out of it, do you think? I didn't start to enjoy it as much as the children. Certainly, but for this stage of development, our children are very anxious. And we found that in, within a very short time, they were using the whole room and really enjoying the sense of creating sounds on their own. Mm. And we felt that they were able to almost get a sense of geography in the sense that they could go back and find the sound. Yeah. And the whole effect of slowing it down or stopping mm. it completely by lying down without, without needing instruction. Mm. Mm.